All right, y'all. We uh, I promised this a little while ago. Haven't quite gotten around to doing it, but we're we're doing it now. So this is our 19 Talon X retro Talon rebuild, and uh, we've had it way apart, crazy amount of apart. As a matter of fact. Uh, we're going to do a walk around and just talk a little bit about it and kind of point out some of the things that we did and uh, the things that we changed. So everything that you see here is wh that's white uh, is actually painted. Uh, we pulled all these plastics off and uh, and painted all the plastics um, at our shop, and uh, all that turned out pretty well. The uh, the decal work was all done at First Place Graphics uh, in Bentonville, Arkansas. And uh, I'm going to link to uh, as much stuff as I can here uh, and as many places that helped us out as I can. And uh, if there's more or something you don't see in the links, just just send me a comment, shoot me a comment, and I will uh, I'll get you a link. But uh, Wayne's Powder Coating in, uh, in Tawnytown, Arkansas, did all the powder coat work. And uh, this is a, a lot of questions have been asked about colors here. So th this is prismatic red baron and uh, it actually matches the red suspension stuff really really well the uh, gold is uh, spanish gold on the wheels and on the super atv nerf bars and uh, like i said let's just start at the front here and we'll we'll kind of take a tour this is a hmf defender bumper i uh, have hmf bumpers on both ends with the xo bars um, it's got a Super ATV 5,000 pound Black Ops winch on it, uh, which we love. These are uh, little, those pod lights are actually from Harbor Freight. Very, very good, as a matter of fact. Surprisingly, surprisingly so. Uh, show off this decal work. We, uh, most of you already know, but we, we have an 85 FL350R Honda Odyssey. And uh, we did this to match that. And uh, just like this, this decal is is identical to what Honda had on the 85 Odyssey. And then the Talon font is the is from the Talon, but the the 1000X font is actually the 350X three-wheeler uh, font from Honda that Honda used on those. So pretty cool uh, that we did that. Got the shock covers, Paula K on Facebook uh, did the shock covers and we've got the Bandit UTV Tender Springs and JC Racing uh, nitrogen caps on these the uh got mud busters on it uh, these things are terrible about throwing mud right on your head so we got the mud busters on there uh, seismic um, all the mirrors are from seismic the rearview mirror and the and the side mirrors this is the honda they call it a half but more like a third uh, windshield prp custom made these blue window nets for me there they're very cool. Uh, like I said, Super ATV Nerf bars. The wheels are Raceline cranks, and they're 5'2", uh, 14-inch cranks. Tires are 32 by 10 Rockzillas, and they are the sticky ones. Um, love love the tire and wheel combination. Works out. Has, has worked out great for us. Um, like I said, PRP reproduced these nets for me. Um, to go with the custom cage and uh, matter of fact let's just let's just take a tour of the cage right here uh md off-road built this cage and it is an incredible piece of work uh, as you can see it's it's all radius everything um, is all radius together and uh, just an amazing almost art really um, on this cage the way that everything fits together and all the radiuses all came together so we're, we're super happy with the cage and uh, how all that came out, really nice, uh, really, really nice roof for it. Um, like I said, that's all powder coated. The, uh, the stubs, it doesn't seem like very many people do this, but these stubs coming out of the lower chassis were actually black. And I, y'all that know me and have been around the channel anytime know that my OCD would not allow them to be black. So we painted those red uh, to match. And uh, all the LEDs that are on it, it has, um, halos a little shot of those yeah really nice halos and these are the very cool uh, mini whips zach wagner wags leds uh, we'll link to that of course he built these uh, mini whips for us also have the 
ultra cool chase bar on there and then uh, let's go inside and I'll show you what's going on in here got a uh, LED a little bit hard to see but got the LED uh, dome light in there let's go ahead and turn the key on and we'll get a little look at some of this stuff so there's your dome light very very cool perfect just I made the perfect amount of light see the uh, seismic mirror in here and uh, it's just the cage itself is just ultra 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 trick uh, go ahead and get some lights going here so we can get a little shot of these lights even though it's daytime but, uh, like I said these whips are very cool and uh, chase bar that is also a third brake light so uh, when you hit the brakes that's just a, a brake light there back around get a little shot of the halos and the whips are on the same controller so they both those lights are all doing the same thing so very cool to have all that got the uh, finish up on the inside here We've got Simpson d3 five-point harnesses in it love these things man they're, they're killer harnesses uh, Simpson's got uh, really got this deal figured out We've got the Honda center bag as you can see here we have a uh, we got heated seats in it and uh, we love these things in the winter time man they're great these are tusk uh, seat heaters and a little bit of install on that uh, you got to take everything apart and you know a little bit going on there so we have uh, we've got the honda side by side.com used a lot of wiring harnesses like for this third brake light and that stuff from from honda side by side.com and uh, this is their uh, this is their little gauge in or i'm sorry switch insert uh, we use that for the winch so these are the lights that are on the front uh, a lot of comments and such on the steering wheel and everything this is a hess uh, quick connect on the steering wheel so it just comes off and uh, this is the uh, dragonfire d-shaped uh, wheel flat wheel uh, with the red stitching and uh, one of the latest additions here, these are the Horizon Off-Road Billet Shifter Paddles. Uh, just, it's very, very cool. We love those things. Uh, PBR plate, and uh, I did, I just bought a blank plate, put all the switches in there. Uh, the dual voltmeter, uh, we do have an auxiliary battery, um, elite side-by-side -side engineering um, battery tray. Uh, up there and a true isolator that stuff uh, the battery tray elite for, uh, direct from elite as well as the uh, sh shifter shifter gate um, also from elite side by side engineering much more we got more stuff from them just don't quite have it on yet so more stuff coming from them um, well I'm going to show this this is actually kind of cool so you know people talk about these the talons and and a little uh knee knee stuff and whatever being a little tight in here and it could be a little bit bigger i'm a big guy and it could be a little bit bigger but the this is some padding quarter inch uh foam from uh, amazon on the door and then you see down here i got another another piece right there and uh, ever since i put that on there my knees have been a lot happier show this if we can get a shot of it oh yeah the hillbilly break that is a very cool thing uh, we'll link to that as well of course but uh great parking brake 101 uses on that um i'll show this to you a lot of people have seen it already but this is uh these are little feet from a cutting board i bought them on amazon and uh, these doors have kind of been a notorious rattler on a lot of these talons and th this is this stopper is adjustable but on these doors by the time you get it to stop get them to stop rattling it's almost all the way out uh, so that solved that problem for very cheap um, a lot of these um, JDM racing also got these on Amazon this stainless bolts with the washers you can see I, I've replaced just about every bolt in the talon that I can replace with it um, mud busters replace that hardware with the same thing holding on the fenders doing all that uh, like I said they've got the uh, HMF rear bumper um, it's it is their rear bumper with the integrated hitch which I love um, the big hook also from Amazon super ATV uh, bed enclosure and uh, this is a 
quick connect fire um, fire extinguisher mount that I've mounted on the inside. This is the uh, Tractor Supply 32 inch box. Matter of fact, one of the one of the most popular videos that we've done uh, was on this box and the mods for this box, and it, it just it fits perfect and just I mean just literally just a lot of room and just just works perfectly in the Talon. Uh, we got a little Coleman cooler that goes in there and. That thing just worked great. Uh, we'll finish walking around here, just get one more lap around it so you can kind of see everything. And uh, like I said, the Bandit Tender Springs have been really good. Uh, the Talon's performed flawlessly for us. Just uh, really, really happy with it. Really happy with how everything came out. Like it sits good, looks good. Um, really could not resist doing the retro theme on it it's just uh i'm just really tickled with how everything's came out here so um like i said just kind of finished making a lap around it here and uh, that's our official walk around on our 2019 honda talon 1000x retro version hey thank you guys so much for watching today and uh hit that subscribe button for me it really helps me if uh if more people subscribe and uh, we're going to keep on doing more talent stuff um, there's no such thing as done uh, on anything that i ever do apparently because i just keep doing stuff so got more stuff to install and we'll be doing more install videos more ride videos um, we've got several rides uh, planned now that we've got it back together and uh, so we'll be doing all those so subscribe to the channel and uh, check out where we're headed from here thanks again y'all have a great day